Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and let's take a closer look at Windows 11's start menu and taskbar. So when you install Windows 11, one of the first things that is going to happen is the new start menu. The way it is designed is now centered. Um, it follows more of the uh, mobile applications. Um, I would say that this option is more of an option that feels like what, what mobile devices will have in their operating systems with centered menus um, rather than the standard desktop we had. There are customization options available. So of course, uh, the start menu has two sections, the recommended and the uh, apps section. What is um, sad for those that wonder if they can reduce the size of this is that whether, whatever you do in here, the size of the start menu panel is going to stay the same. So that's one thing you need to know, that even if you remove some sections, instead of making the panel smaller, it's actually just going to put empty space in it. There are customization options for uh, the start menu. If you don't like the fact that it's on the centered uh, place in the, on the taskbar, you can right click the taskbar, go into taskbar settings. And in here, you will see that you have taskbar behaviors. One of them is taskbar alignment. You can actually bring the start menu back to the left if that's what you wish. That is a possibility. And of course, you can remove some options like automatically uh, hide the taskbar if you want, which is an option that was available in, Windu in Windows for a long time, where when you're not using it, actually it hides. Uh, so just put a check mark here and it's going to be gone if you find it too big. Some people find it too big and yes, there's very limited customizing that you can do right now. And uh, there's, of course, show badges, unread messages, uh, counter, and stuff like that in uh, the different icons. Well, you can remove that. Uh, and you can select the far corner of the taskbar to show the desktop or not. So you can remove or add this um, at your convenience. Now, um, I will actually realign it to the middle um, eventually. But one of the things you can do to make it feel more like Windows 10 if you wish is you can also click the start button once it's on the left side and change the list to all apps. This will, even though the panel stays the same size as you see again, kind of look and feel more like what you usually have in Windows 10 even though there's no live tiles and stuff like that. But you'll be getting a list instead so your start menu will actually feel more like a list, but yeah, it doesn't stay. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are not customizable. For example, the taskbar cannot be moved to the sides or the top. That's something that you got to know. And um, there's very limited options right now in customization. Uh, you can remove, of course, the buttons on the uh, taskbar if you want. You simply, uh, you know, put on or off the different options for widgets and so on and lower the amount of icons that you will have in your taskbar. So you just remove what you want there. There's also the customization that is possible by right-clicking an app that you might have pinned and then unpinned from the taskbar to take less space. So depending on what you want to do. The um, taskbar, like I said, cannot be moved. And yes, a lot of people are annoyed at one simple thing is that when you right click the taskbar in Windows 10, there's all these menus, including um, a way to go to the task manager. This has changed and you'll have to get used to the fact that you right click on the start menu now to get options. And of course, bring back, for example, the task manager. So it's a right click on the start button rather than a right click on the taskbar itself, which just brings you uh, taskbar settings, which is, of course, the basic settings just for the taskbar. And um, the way the reason they did that is to try to simplify the menus. And um, that's the way it is. And, you know, you like it or you don't. Some people, uh, there's a lot of people, um, 
saying in the comments when I talked about the broken uh, taskbar, because some of you have a broken taskbar where in Windows 11 you still see the Windows 10 taskbar, and that is going to be fixed with the next update. Um, a lot of people are commenting, well, maybe for some people that is actually a good thing. So it depends what you want, you like or not. Uh, one thing for sure, there are apps that are out there. There's, you know, uh, different um, software that are, are coming up um, that are actually um, customizing Windows 11 to look more like Windows 10. Um, honestly, if you're to do that, I don't know why you're moving to Windows 11. You should stay in Windows 10. It works fine. Um, I'm getting used to the menus. I'm getting used to the, the look and the feel of how it works. And um, that's, you know, the way it is right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.